I'm going to show you how to open any door with a knife just like this any knife will work just like that and there's my cat <laughs> wonder what's going on all right, come on in. See? The knife is now a key. How cool is that? All right guys, now for this project, you're gonna need some sort of uh, you know, cheap knife, whether it be an automatic or switchblade or an OTF or something that looks cool that you know, that doesn't cost much that you'd be willing to uh, destroy. Like this little guy, it's only a $10, $10 stiletto, I'm not too worried about it not even an automatic so I will be sacrificing this ten dollar stiletto so like I said you need some sort of cheap knife whether it be a switch blade like this ten dollar stiletto we have here Automatics that are cheap are really kind of cool, flashy, but this is just a uh, just a flipper stiletto. Wasn't willing to destroy any of my good knives for this video. I'm gonna need obviously safety glasses, um, some sort of mask. You get rid of the safety stuff right away. Fire extinguisher is always good. Anytime you grind, you're going to need a fire extinguisher. Um, you need some kind of workbench, obviously. I don't want to destroy my good workbench. So I, I put a metal plate down, and I have a table, just a cheap table vise. We're not doing big work here. I don't need an expensive one. So I have a cheap uh, Irving table vise. I have my Dremel for really good for little jobs and it has the nice uh, disc bit attachment. This thing's great because you can put the better discs on there. And I have some really good cutting discs here as well as some uh, carbide um, bits. This little carbide bits for shaping. Um, also should have a nice set of uh, of um, files nice set of files works great I just bought this cheap set because I had a few other ones but these ones are brand new and I dedicated this set because I didn't actually need one with a triangle in it so I got a whole set real cheap set uh, what else small set of files works great um, and you can get the small set and the big set for less than 20 bucks um, you're also gonna need a way to detemper the blade I'm not sure if this cheap blades tempered but I don't want it to a take forever to grind into shape and B I don't want it to be brittle when I go to use the knife as an actual key. That that blade needs to be somewhat softer for the use. So some sort of torch. This is just a small little torch, but obviously um, a a propane torch, like a big propane torch, is 
is just as good, if not better, obviously. Um, take your key off the keychain. This is not my house key. This is just a cheap old. It's just an old door key I had from years ago. Uh, you're gonna need to make a template out of this. So just for show purposes, I have a random key I had. Um, you're also gonna need a way to mark the blade. So I have a sharpie. Uh, and anything I missed uh, is going to be linked in the description down below, as well as the tools I used and whatnot. You can find a lot of these on Amazon or your local hardware store. Um, it's just a quick little demonstration here, just for fun. You know, I like to do fun projects sometimes, and this just happened to—I just happened to come up with this idea, and I thought it'd be cool to try. If it works, it works. We'll see. All right, well, first thing you got to do is take the blade out of the knife. So <clears throat> I'm using my CR key, uh, CRKT um, little bit set. Uh, that actually came in a nice little leather case, little screwdriver. Uh, that's actually a T8. Shouldn't be too difficult to take off. That other side should just pop right out. Let's see if I can get that out of there. There we go. Okay. Should slide right out now. Okay. All right. So now I have the knife blade loose um, and I will be grinding this down. Well, the only part I really need is from here down. That's all I'll really need. It's a shame I'm wasting a blade but it's not that great of a knife anyway. Not that great of a steel on this anyway so yeah. Yeah, we'll be shaving down all that, and we're just going to have the key template right here. I'm just going to make the key out of this. So then, I can flip open a key. Um, little plastic washers. We'll save all the hardware. Obviously, we're going to need that again. So I'll save the little washers and uh, the T8 pivot screw. Okay, let's uh, detemper this knife blade, shall we? Yeah, I actually uh, sped this up uh, like a thousand percent, so you wouldn't be bored by the 14 minutes it took me to try to detemper this blade. Yeah, it was at this point that I realized that this small uh, butane torch just wasn't cutting it. So I was either going to have to go buy a bigger propane torch or just used a second little torch. And I had a second little torch. So I went and grabbed that, did this again, used them both at the same time and actually got a nice glowing yellow, uh, which is about the temperature I needed. I spared you guys the uh, having to watch that for a second time. Okay, 
So I just put the blade in the vise sideways so when it cools off it will not warp. Yeah that's what it should look like when it's done. All the blue hues and everything else that's how you can tell it. It's been hit with a lot of heat. All the different colors and stuff like that and how black the blade is and everything. Uh, that got to 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 be like a, a yellowish a real yellowish orange which is pretty much the color you wanted to get when I was done with it. All right, a uh, good way to tell if the blade is still hard or not is you get a file and you try to shave into it and if the file grips the metal and grinds away easily that means that the metal is soft. Oh yeah. It's gripping in pretty easily. So that metal's soft. It's fine now. I can uh, I can shape this. And like I said before, the only part I really need is here down. So from here down is the part I'll be using. Pretty much right there is what I'm going to be using. I'm only making a key out of this blade. So now we have to measure the thickness as to the thickness of this and you can tell the key is get up close if it'll focus in the key is a lot thinner than that blade metal okay so now I have to uh, figure out how thick the real key is and how thick the knife blade is and how much I have to grind off that knife blade so let's start with the key Two point three, two point. Let's get an exact amount. Two point two one millimeters. Knife spine is two point eight three. Uh, two point. 2.77 millimeters. This is a good amount that I'm gonna have to shave off of this. Yeah. And again, I'm gonna have the key at the spine to the back of the key way. So it'll be kind of like that. Essentially, all I'm making right now is a blank. And then I will cut the key depths into this part of the blade. Okay, remember guys, safety first. I'll be using safety glasses and an N95 mask. Um, and I have my fire extinguisher and I'll be using a Dremel to cut. I'm just going to cut off this portion of the blade. I don't need this. I only need the back to make a key blank. Okay, let's get started. Okay.
Beautiful. Now we have a nice cut knife blade. Okay, so now what I have to do uh, using this uh, dummy key as reference, I have to mark all all these all these marks into my into my blade now so I have to basically use this key as a template or well, the real key essentially as a template for what I have to cut out all right let's get the real key mark it on there and get started Okay, and from here, I scribed out the rest of the pattern and the depth that I'm going to be putting the key at, and I'm going to do the rest um, with my Dremel. A lot of this I'm going to have to cut out because it's just going to take too long. Okay, now I'll be checking, I'll be, I'll be cutting the depth, the thickness of this now, uh, and I'll be checking periodically with the calipers um, how thick it is. Okay, so here she is in all her glory, all done. Uh, I just put the blade basically back in the knife, same way I took it out. Um, you know, use your, your T8 knife pivot screws, put your washers back in, and everything else. Uh, so it looks like a regular knife now that it's back together. And uh, there's the key. I don't want to show you the blade too much because then you'll see what uh, depth cut my uh, my actual house key is but that's kind of what it looks like I'll give you a kind of a view of it yeah I oh, it's not the best cutting but you know not the best grind but that's pretty much what it came out to look like The knife is now a key. How cool is that? <laughs> you 
you flip that, it's pretty, pretty sweet. Let me show you. Love it. Yeah, yeah, now, now people can think that, uh, that you're trying to open your uh, front door with a knife. <laughs> Great, but at least it's cool. Nice little uh, conversation piece. <laughs> All right, well, that'll just about do it. Let's put this beauty back in the case. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you very much.